Imagine soaring high above the arid plains of southern Peru, where the vast, barren landscape below is suddenly interrupted by the sight of intricate designs etched into the earth. These are not the works of a modern artist, but the remnants of an ancient civilization etched into the desert floor more than a thousand years ago. Welcome to the Nazca Desert, home to the mysterious Nazca Lines. Sprawling across nearly 500 square kilometers of this windswept plateau, the Nazca Lines are a series of enormous geoglyphs depicting a diverse array of figures and shapes. There are over 800 straight lines, 300 geometric shapes, and 70 biomorphs, which depict animals, plants, and other organic forms. From geometric shapes to intricate representations of animals such as monkeys, spiders, and hummingbirds, the scope and variety of these figures are truly astounding. These colossal geoglyphs are so large, in fact, that their full forms can only be comprehended from a bird's eye view, a perspective that the ancient Nazca people would have never been able to experience. This has led many to wonder, how did these ancient people create these immense works of art, and why? Situated in the Nazca Desert of southern Peru, these lines were not discovered until 1927 by the Peruvian archaeologist Toribio Mejia Cespe. He noted that these lines were made by removing the reddish-brown, iron-oxide-coated pebbles that cover the surface of the Nazca Desert, revealing the light-colored earth beneath. This contrast between the dark surface stones and the lighter subsoil below creates a stark contrast, making the lines visible from great distances. Since their discovery, the Nazca lines have captivated the minds of researchers and enthusiasts alike. But despite decades of study, they remain shrouded in mystery. What was their purpose? How were they made? And what do they tell us about the people who created them? As we delve into the enigma of the Nazca lines, we hope to shed light on these intriguing questions. But how did the ancient Nazca people create these monumental figures with such precision in an era long before the invention of flight? This question has intrigued scholars and enthusiasts alike for decades. It's believed that the Nazca people, despite their lack of advanced technology, used simple tools and ingenious surveying techniques to construct these massive geoglyphs. To create the lines, they removed the reddish-brown iron oxide-coated pebbles that covered the surface of the Nazca Desert. This revealed the light-colored earth beneath, creating a stark contrast that can be seen from great heights. The lines were typically created by making shallow incisions in the desert floor, a technique known as scratching. This was accomplished with wooden stakes and reeds, tools that were readily available and easy to handle. The Nazca people's understanding of the desert topography and their ability to work on such a grand scale is truly impressive. They used long ropes to create straight lines and geometric patterns, and likely used scaled-down models to sketch out the larger figures, such as the famous spider and hummingbird. To ensure the lines were visible from a distance, they were often made around four to six inches deep and typically 10 to 15 feet wide. This scale and depth allowed the lines to be seen from surrounding foothills and from the air, but also protected them from being erased by wind and weather. The Nazca's intricate designs and vast scale of work demonstrate a remarkable understanding of geometry and a strong sense of proportion. The precision of these lines created without the aid of wheels, metal tools, or a written language is a testament to the Nazca's ingenuity and creativity. These lines have endured for over a thousand years, thanks to the stable climate of the Nazca Desert. The lack of wind and minimal rainfall in this region have helped preserve these works of art, allowing us to marvel at them today. As we continue to study the Nazca lines, they serve as a profound reminder of humanity's enduring desire to communicate with the cosmos. The purpose of the Nazca lines has been a subject of intense speculation and debate for decades. A myriad of theories have been proposed, each more fascinating than the last. Some suggest that these massive geoglyphs served as an astronomical calendar, with each figure corresponding to a different celestial body or event. The lines, they argue, were a way for the Nazca people to track the movements of the sun, moon, and stars. Others believe that the Nazca lines were used in religious ceremonies. This theory posits that the lines were a form of worship or communication with the gods. The figures, according to this belief, 
represented different deities or supernatural beings, and the lines were used in rituals to honor or appease them. Perhaps the most intriguing theory and certainly the most controversial is that the Nazca lines were created as landing strips for ancient aliens. Proponents of this idea argue that the lines are too complex and too precise to have been made without advanced technology, suggesting extraterrestrial intervention. They point out that the figures are best seen from the sky, implying that they were intended for a skyward audience. However, most scholars now lean towards the interpretation that the Nazca lines were of religious significance. They suggest that the vast, intricate designs were created to be seen by the gods in the sky. Archaeologists and anthropologists theorize that the Nazca people believed in sky deities, and the lines were their way of reaching out or making themselves known to these divine entities. This theory aligns with what we know about the Nazca culture, which placed a great deal of importance on rituals and ceremonies. It also helps explain why the figures are so large and why they were made in such a remote, inaccessible location. To the Nazca, the arid desert was not a barren wasteland, but a sacred canvas on which they could communicate with the gods. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the Nazca lines, we continue to learn more about this ancient civilization and their unique perspective of the world. Most scholars now agree that the Nazca lines likely had religious significance created to be seen by the gods in the sky. Despite their enduring existence, the Nazca lines face imminent threats from climate change, human encroachment, and vandalism. For centuries, the arid desert climate and remote location protected these geoglyphs from the ravages of time and human activity. However, in recent years, the preservation of these ancient marvels has become an increasingly complex challenge. Climate change, for instance, is a looming threat. Changes in weather patterns could lead to unexpected rainfall or wind erosion, potentially damaging or even erasing the lines. The Nazca Desert's typically dry climate has preserved these lines for centuries, but as the climate warms, the risk of damage increases. But it's not just natural forces that pose a risk. The encroachment of human activity, whether through urban development, agriculture, or tourism, is another significant threat. In some instances, new roads have been carved directly over the lines, and instances of intentional vandalism have also been reported. The work of preserving the Nazca lines is a delicate and complex task. It requires a balance of allowing visitors who bring much needed tourism revenue to the area while protecting the lines from damage. This is where technology can help, with drones and satellite imagery being used to monitor the lines and identify any areas of concern. Various organizations and institutions are working tirelessly to preserve these ancient wonders. For instance, UNESCO declared the Nazca Lines a World Heritage Site in 1994, helping to raise awareness and protect the lines from further damage. Additionally, the Peruvian government has implemented legislation to protect the lines and has been working with local communities and international organizations to promote sustainable tourism and education about the importance of preserving these ancient works of art. Despite these challenges, the importance of preserving the Nazca lines cannot be overstated. These lines are not just extraordinary archaeological wonders, they are a testament to the creativity, ingenuity, and spiritual beliefs of an ancient civilization. Preservation efforts are crucial to ensure these ancient marvels survive for future generations to marvel at. The advent of modern technology has opened new doors in the study of the Nazca lines. A mystery that has baffled historians and archaeologists for centuries is now being unraveled with the help of cutting-edge tools and techniques. Drones, for instance, have revolutionized how we approach the study of these colossal geoglyphs. These unmanned aerial vehicles provide a bird's-eye view of the lines without disturbing the fragile desert floor. They capture high-resolution images that can be stitched together to create comprehensive maps of the entire Nazca Plateau. This perspective allows researchers to appreciate the scale and complexity of these designs in a way that was not possible before. Another game changer in the study of the Nazca lines is satellite imagery. With satellites, we can observe these ancient marvels from space, gaining an even broader perspective. This bird's eye view also enables us to spot new geoglyphs that were previously hidden from view due to their size or location. 
Furthermore, satellite images can be used to track changes in the lines over time, providing valuable data on the impact of environmental factors on these ancient structures. Ground-penetrating radar, on the other hand, allows us to see what's underneath the desert floor. This non-invasive technique can detect buried features and structures, offering clues about the methods used by the Nazca people to create these lines. It can also reveal hidden lines or figures that have been erased by time and weather. The integration of these technologies has brought us closer to understanding the Nazca lines. Each new tool, each new technique, provides another piece of the puzzle, bringing us one step closer to solving this ancient enigma. These technological advances allow us to uncover more about the Nazca lines than ever before. While there's still much we don't know about these ancient marvels, we're certainly closer to the answers than ever before, thanks to the power of modern technology. The Nazca lines have not only puzzled researchers, but have also captured the imagination of people around the world. These ancient geoglyphs, with their enigmatic origins and elusive purpose, have made a significant cultural impact that transcends borders and generations. Their influence can be seen in a myriad of forms, from fine art to popular culture. Artists, inspired by the scale and mystery of the lines, have created numerous works echoing the geometric and biomorphic designs. From abstract paintings to intricate sculptures, these modern interpretations pay homage to the Nazca lines, emphasizing their timeless appeal and artistic merit. In literature, the Nazca lines have found a place in the realm of magical realism and science fiction. Authors have woven tales around these ancient drawings, using them as metaphors for human connection and the mystery of existence. They've served as a canvas for imaginative narratives, adding an aura of mystery and intrigue to many a story. Meanwhile, in the world of pop culture, the Nazca lines have been referenced in movies, music, and even video games, often as symbols of ancient wisdom or extraterrestrial life. They've become a familiar motif, a shorthand for the unexplained and the unknown. And let's not forget the conspiracy theories. From ancient astronaut theories to claims of alien landings, the Nazca lines have sparked some of the most fascinating and sometimes outlandish speculations. These theories, while largely dismissed by the scientific community, have nonetheless added to the allure and mystique of the lines. Through all these mediums, the Nazca lines continue to inspire and captivate. They've become more than just ancient geoglyphs etched in the desert. They've become a symbol of humanity's enduring curiosity and our relentless quest for understanding. They serve as a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of the ancient Nazca culture. The Nazca lines remain one of the most fascinating and mysterious achievements of the ancient world. These enigmatic figures etched in the heart of the Peruvian desert stretch our comprehension of what our ancestors were capable of, even without the modern tools and technologies we take for granted today. Carved into the earth over a thousand years ago, these geoglyphs span nearly 500 square kilometers, with more than 800 straight lines, 300 geometric figures, and 70 biomorphs. From a spider to a hummingbird, these figures are so enormous, they can only be fully appreciated from the sky. This fact alone challenges our understanding of their creator's abilities and intentions. The theories surrounding the purpose of the Nazca lines are as varied as the figures themselves. Some suggest they served as astronomical calendars, others propose they were integral to religious ceremonies, and still others imagine them as landing strips for ancient extraterrestrials. While the truth remains elusive, most scholars now agree that these lines likely held religious significance for the Nazca people, acting as messages or offerings to the gods in the sky. Despite the harsh conditions of the Nazca desert, these lines have endured for centuries. However, they now face threats from climate change, human encroachment, and vandalism. The responsibility falls on us to preserve these ancient marvels to ensure they continue to inspire and mystify future generations. Modern technology has transformed the way we study the Nazca lines. Drones, satellite imagery, and ground-penetrating radar offer unprecedented access and insight into these ancient wonders. With each new discovery, we gain a deeper understanding of the Nazca people and their remarkable creations. The Nazca lines have had a profound cultural impact capturing the imagination of people all around the world. 
They've inspired countless works of art, literature, and even conspiracy theories. They serve as a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of the ancient Nazca culture, reminding us of our ancestors' deep desire to understand and connect with the natural world and the cosmos beyond it. In conclusion, the Nazca lines are not just ancient doodles in the desert, they are an enduring mystery that continues to captivate us, a testament to the ancient Nazca civilization's creativity, ingenuity, and profound connection with the cosmos. They signify the human desire to understand and connect with the universe, a desire that transcends time and culture. As we continue to study and preserve these ancient symbols, they remind us of humanity's enduring desire to connect with the cosmos.